Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Caleb Neely, um, and I'm very excited to be in Ag Ed 6800 or Ag Ed, Ag Ed 4800 with everybody this semester. And here's a PowerPoint I put together about myself. To begin, I just decided to throw in a picture of me. This is a pretty recent picture. I took it uh, this past uh, spring, I believe. And I don't take many photos, so that's about the only one I had. One question I get a lot is where I'm from. I'm actually from the middle of nowhere, as I like to call it. It's a small town called Wagoner, South Carolina. It's pretty much in between Aiken and Columbia, or Augusta and Columbia, if you will. And I am going on 21 years of age. So for my entire life, I've lived here in Wagner. I guess with the exception of these past couple years, I've spent up in Clemson. And I have only noted that the nearest cities are Aiken and Columbia because, like I said, Wagner's in the middle of nowhere. Um, it is Aiken County, so it's a pretty good school district. And the population of the town is 645. Now, that doesn't include the people who live outside of the town limits. Like myself, I wouldn't be considered in that because I live just outside of the town limits. But still in all, it's a very small town. And I added some additional notes on there. It's a very rural town. You see a lot of row crops and you see plenty of horses because we are in Aiken County after all. I threw, I threw together a few photos of some key places in, the, in this small town. So starting from the left, that's Tyler Brothers. It is a Carhartt dealership. It's actually a pretty popular store, and it's owned by a family who also owns the only grocery store in town, a Piggly Wiggly. You can go to Carhartt for any of your hardware needs, or also for any clothes, work boots, and etc. Um, the photo in the upper middle, that is Wagner First Baptist. I grew up going to church there. Um, and the photo below that is just a photo of kind of a main street there's a couple little older buildings. They look kind of historic. I think they're really cool. Um, and I, I pass by them every day. Uh, well, I used to pass by them every day on the, way to, on the way to school. And then, most importantly, the photo on the right, that is Sue's Grill. Um, it's an amazing restaurant. My friends would go there. Uh, my friends and I would go there after school almost every day and get something to eat. Um, I had to throw that one in there. So if there's one thing that making this PowerPoint taught me is that my family and I need to take more photos because I struggled to find photos of my family. Um, but besides that, I did find one of my father and I. So I do have uh, two loving parents, my mother and my father. And you can see my father on the photo on the left. Uh, we're fishing. We love to fish together. He loves to fish. Um, and that's a picture of us in Beaufort, actually. We just got done catching some redfish and some sea trout and pretty much anything else that was biting that day. It was a really fun day. Um, I have four siblings in total. Um, I have two brothers and two sisters, and I am the youngest boy. I only have one younger sister, so I have three older siblings. Um, and, there's, and we have four dogs in my house and I love all four of them equally but I decided to add these two on here because these two also hold a very special place in my heart so the white dog you can see in the bottom left that is my dog Bella um she's actually a pretty interesting dog uh she actually has uh autism which is a lot of people don't know you can have that in dogs dogs can have that but um Bella has it and we love her all the same. She's really fun, really energetic. She's kind of an oddball, but it just adds to her character. And the dog on the rightmost, that's my hound dog, I call her. She's a beagle mix. Um, uh, she, just, she just got diagnosed with cancer, but she's fighting it and she's doing really well. And I love her to death. That's a picture of her actually while we're at the veterinary office. We had her out in the car because this was like... At this particular trip, um, wasn't regarding her cancer, but it was COVID times, so we I couldn't even go inside with her, so we were just kind of chilling out in the parking lot. Um, up next, not only did, did I re realize that me, and my fam, or my family and I don't take a lot of photos, my best friends and I don't have many photos together either. 
I have a few photos here and there, but I'm just not a very big picture taking guy unless we're talking plants. So under my best friends tab, I just listed my roommates. Those are some of the, the coolest guys I've ever met. Um, I live with them. We hang out with each other almost every day, especially every weekend. My neighbors are actually practically my roommates. Um, the guys that live above me, uh, freshman year, really good friends uh, from the beginning. And we kind of stuck together and we actually got lucky enough to get housed right beside each other. So we just always have a good time together. And my friends back home, a few shout outs to my friend JB. I know Dr. Layfield uh, remembers JB um, and I have plenty more friends back home, but a lot of them are older than me and I'm getting at the age where, you know, adulthood is very imminent. So they're living their lives and uh, we catch up all the time. On the left uh, is a photo of me and my girlfriend, Joanna. We've been together for a a really long time now and um, we took that photo while we were in Kiowa on Kiowa Island and this summer we spent a lot of time there because it's a beautiful island and can't go wrong with Kiowa or any and can't go wrong with any town on South Carolina's coast to be honest. I went to Wagner Sally High School and um, I'm pretty proud of it. It's a small high school, and we had a huge ag department, which I absolutely loved. I graduated in the class of 2021, so I am rather young. Um, it is a small public school, and they are currently building a new school, which I know I'll appreciate, everyone in my town appreciate, and any of the Wagner Sally students that Dr. Layfield gets, would, he'll appreciate because they won't, he, won't, he won't have to look at this photo of Wagner Sally High School that they took in like the year of 2000. Because they don't put any new photos of uh, old high school online because the way it looks, I guess. But they are building a new school right now. I looked at it the other day while I was home for Christmas break. And it's pretty big. So I'm actually pretty impressed. So yep, little old Wagner Sally High School. What did I do while I was at Wagner Sally High School? Um, the only thing I really did was the FFA, and that's because the FFA just took up so much of my time, and that's not a complaint. I had a great time. I enjoyed it, and ultimately, my experience in the FFA has brought me where I'm at now. So while I was in the FFA as a student, I took on the position of th uh, three officer chapter positions, um, three different years. Uh, I began out as the Sentinel, and then from there, I became the President, and then from there, um, I became a junior advisor my senior year. And while I was there, I had two teachers, um, Mr. Ethan Busby and Mr. Alex Derrick. They're both graduates from Clemson. And uh, I learned ag mechanics and the wildlife pathway, which I absolutely loved because those are two areas that I really find myself teaching in the future. I really hope I get to teach in the future. Um, I also like horticulture as well. Um, so on to my hobbies. Um, I'm a pretty simple guy. I love to go fishing. I love video games and I love sports, but if I had to pick one hobby in the entire world to pursue for the rest of my life, I'm absolutely going with fishing. I grew up fishing for largemouth bass and I just fell in love with it. And then from there we would take seasonal trips to go inshore fishing, usually in Beaufort with some of my dad's buddies. And I just fell in love with it. And that's why I hope to live on the coast one day is so I can go fishing inshore every day. And the video games I like, there's, there's so many of them. It's, it's various. I play Xbox and I play on a personal computer. And the sports I love, you name it, I play it. I love basketball. I love spike ball. And lately I've been getting into pickleball. So, yeah. Something about me. Um, this is something that's unique about me, and I put this on here because, as you saw in the last slide, I mentioned a bowfin, and a lot of y'all are probably like, what the heck is a bowfin? Well, let me tell you. Um, this is my favorite fish by far. It's so cool. Um, the scientific name is Amia calva. I'm about to get a little ner nerdy on here, here, on here, but uh, it's known as a primitive fish because it has the features of what you would expect a dinosaur fish to have. Um, South Korea, the, the state, the, the world record bowfin by weight ever caught 
was caught in South Carolina. It was caught in Florence, South Carolina, out of a small lake called Forest Lake. And I believe it was like 21 pounds, 6 ounces. Well, besides that, something unique about me is that growing up, I would fish the Savannah River a lot. And the Savannah River is slap full of bowfin. And I've caught bowfin upwards of 15 and 16 pounds. And I've caught a lot of them in the 12 range. I've caught hundreds and hundreds of bowfin. Out of everyone I've ever met, I think I've caught the most bowfins. And I'm not bragging, but that's one thing that I wouldn't mind bragging about. Um, I know it's nerdy, but I just love bowfin. Um, I, I have pictures of me holding both in, but I look wild in them because I just ran probably two miles up the river up before I took the photos. So I decided to throw a picture of Joanna in here last summer. I actually got her to catch her first ever both in, which was really cool. Um, and we did it out of my boat right there and it was, it was really fun. So yeah, uh, if I could do one thing in this world for the rest of my life, it would be to try and catch the the world record bowfin to try to catch a bowfin that's 22 pounds that would be absolutely amazing and that's like my biggest dream so speaking of dreams i want to talk about my dream career um i know i just said it would be chasing bowfin trying to catch big bowfin but that's not realistic maybe when i retire um right now my career goals is i want to become an agricultural educator and I want to start out in secondary education because high school students just interest me. It was a great time in my life, and I want to try and help them understand that it's also could be a great time in their life. Um, and particularly, I want to teach ag because there's so there's, the content is so vast, and a lot of the things that you can teach these students are life skills, and I really like that. Also, different topics of agriculture, such as like agricultural discussions allow allow people allow you to teach students how to build their character, how to become leaders, and how to ultimately develop their own opinions that on like issues and causes within the world. And I think that's so interesting. You get to challenge them to critically think. And I, I yesterday I um read chapter one of the book we're reading and I'm gonna love the book for this class because it is about critical thinking, if I will. It's about um doing more than just memorizing. I, I think it's so cool. And then after that, I want to become a collegiate level educator. Um, this is liable to change because I know I'm probably going to fall in love with teaching high school students and keep doing that. But I just think right now I'm in college. I, I, I loved when I was in high school. I love when I'm in college even more. And if I could just spend the rest of my life like on a college campus doing research and teaching college students, I just think it's so interesting. There's nothing like challenging high school students to critically think. Well, it's also a challenge to get college students to critically think. So it's just that that area of expertise is what I like and it's what fascinates me. So that would be my career goals. And yeah, that's what I have for y'all. Thanks for listening in. Thanks for taking the time to get to know me a little bit.